look a lot nicer and just make those edges really, really flat. Because what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna go back and sew around the edge again uh, just to make it, just kind of finish it off and make it look really nice. And then we're gonna close up that end there. And at that point, I mean, we're really almost done. It's just kind of uh, what you wanna do from there as far as pockets and things like that. We're gonna put on two pockets uh, using our charm packs, our little five inch squares, and um, kind of go from there. Alrighty? There you go. So, we got that. Hey, we got this edge here? Yeah. <clears throat> you need to get that one with there. Our size four. Uh, size four? Our size four brush. You can also use a chopstick. <laughs> a pen, um, maybe a crocheting needle, um, or would that be a knitting needle? A knitting needle? Uh, oh, crochet hook, excuse me. There we um, go. Or uh, perhaps... A drumstick? A drumstick, there we go. Mm, good one. An Allen wrench? Allen wrench. Um, a tire iron? Crowbar? <laughs> a little popsicle stick thing? <laughs> Anyways, you get the point, you can do it. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're gonna look at at this point. You know, hold that side, Yeah. hold this side, something like that. And you got that little opening there. So what we're gonna do now, like I said, at this point you can iron it, which we probably should do, but our iron's not on, so we're just gonna skip to the next step. And it'll be all right. Yeah. It's black and blue. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it's black and blue. It'll be cool. All right, anyways, whatever. All right, so at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew along the edge again, about a quarter of an inch, just to kind of flatten that out. And again, you wanna iron this if you can, flatten this out, and then we'll move on to our last, I guess the final step. So here we go. Right. Sew that in. So that, I guess about a quarter, about a quarter of an inch. Quarter. Yeah. He's got that focus going. And, and it's, like, it's like him and the machine have become one. Done. What'd I tell you? I couldn't even get out the rest of my sentence. That's how quick he is. All right, so this is where we're at. We kind of finished it off. We used a contrasting piece of thread here because we felt it gave it a little something extra. So what you want to do now, you got your little, um, when I was in the military, we called them Irish pennants, but they're just little doodly doos. So we're gonna take our, uh, our little snips here, or scissors or whatever you want to call them, shears. Cheers. I like scissors. We'll just call them scissors. We're going to cut those little things off, kind of make it look pretty. Okay, so here's where we're at. We've got this all sewed together. It's all looking good. Now we're going to put our pockets on. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to take your little five inch square. You're going to fold the top and you're going to sew, sew it down so it looks pretty and finished. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. So, we'll get that. You got your colors picked out? Yeah. Awesome. And we're going to use the blue side. Yeah, we are going to use the blue side. Mm -hmm. We're going to use the blue side. So let's get those. Go ahead and sew those down. All right. Sew yours down first. So now that you got this all sewn down, what you want to do is you just get a little pair of scissors, kind of cut those little extra pieces off. You got some scissors around here? Where are the scissors? Oh, there they are. Hey, you got an extra pair? I'll cut this one off. There you go. Okay. This is what we call teamwork. So like if I was working in a corporation, I would be what's called a project manager. <laughs> but since it's not, I'm just a guy with a pair of scissors. Man, and I, for some reason, cannot cut this. There we go. I think I'm gonna need yours. Is that one not working? No. Nothing better than a good pair of scissors or shears. I don't know, fabric shears, is that what you call them? Is that what they're called, fabric shears? Yeah. Outstanding. Even though these say precision, not precision. I don't even know who makes these. I probably don't wanna say precision. They're stainless steel. They look pretty. <laughs> they don't cut. Anyway, so now that you've got that sewn at the top, you're going to kind of lay it down where you want it. And you're going to want to pin these in place because you don't want them. I mean, you could have them kind of offset, whatever you want to do. It's your apron. Do whatever you want. We're just going to kind of pin these in place, and then we are going to level them because uh, you want them to be straight. You don't want them to be off. You want them to be straight. 
and we're going to show you a really neat trick, 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 trick on how to level these. Um, it's not going to be what you think. We do have some levels here. Uh, you can get expensive levels. Uh, we have some that we got at our uh, local hardware store that we're going to be using, and uh, we'll get this all leveled up, get them pinned in, or they're getting pinned in place, and uh, then from there at that point we'll sew them down, and we should just be just about done with this. Now, one of the things that Alex uh, is actually working towards is, is uh, his pinning technique. He's really good, again, at seam ripping, at sewing, but the pinning, he's, we're actually in training right now. Um, as prob speak. He probably pins five or 600 pieces of material a day, uh, and it's something that he, look at that. <laughs> that right there, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> beware. Beware of that. See, this is this is what quilting and sewing and doing crafts can do. The intensity. He just bent a needle. That's strength. Strength, people. I don't care what you say. Oh yeah, it's a little thin piece of needle. <laughs> try to bend one. Just and then I tell you what, bend it and try to bend it back. It's not gonna happen. Just not gonna happen. That's intensity. All right, we just do got that last pin in there. And we're gonna grab our level, <clears throat> and we're gonna level this up. And then right. you make your adjustments from there. And this is a really neat technique that I learned from a friend of mine in the quilting world. You're gonna take your level, you're gonna hold this apron right here. And you see that there's a little ball right in the center here. If it's not level, I'm just gonna lift my side up, and down, and, and up, and, and it's level. level. Great, there we go. awesome. So now that that's level, I'm gonna put that away. We're gonna just sew these three edges. You do not wanna sew the top because it kinda defeat the purpose. <laughs> sew around the three edges and then you're done. So let's go and sew those up and we can finish up this project. Awesome. All right. Alrighty. Now you got your pockets on there. We'll take our scissors, cut off the little extra pieces. I'll take the scissors they don't cut. So if they don't cut, are they still called scissors? It's one of those questions. We got a little, hold on, we got a big old extra piece. <laughs> Whoops. All righty. Those don't work really. All right, so we got this here. Got our pockets. Everything's in place-ish. Looks good, I think so. Looks really good. So that's it. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Takes about five minutes without all the talking, and uh, it looks good. Again, well, my name is Daniel. I'm with Fat Quarter World and avidquilter.com. You go to Fat Quarter World, check out all the fabric, see what you want to use to make your own apron. You can go to Avid Quilter, take a look at the, our tutorials, and we'll have this there that you can download, so you can kind of go over that as well. Do this for your wife, do this for your kids, do it for yourself, and um, that's pretty much it. So for this episode of Man vs. Craft, I would have to say uh, man one and craft zero. Zero. And so I'm pretty excited about that. And again, my name is Daniel and this is my wonderful assistant, Alex. And until next time, um, have fun crafting and enjoy your day on the planet.